Tony Cross from Liverpool. A bomb claim came from Spain for Liverpool. According to Spanish sources, Liverpool are interested in Real Madrid star midfielder Tony Cross. Tony Cruz is one of the best midfielders of his generation and has excelled at every club he has played for in his career. The 32-year-old first came into the limelight during his stint with Bayern Munich, but his shares skyrocketed after his move to Real Madrid eight years ago. The German maestro played a crucial role in Real Madrid's dominance in Europe. Cross has played for Real Madrid more than 350 times and has become one of the living legends of Los Blancos. Now over 32 and heading towards the end of his career, his stupendous performance is the only explainable reason he's been on Liverpool's radar. Cross was one of the main building blocks for the last Champions League champion Real Madrid to reach the trophy and showed the whole world that football is not about age. While Liverpool fans had been waiting for a midfielder since the beginning of the transfer window, Klopp ignored these requests. However, the German coach finally revealed that he was wrong and confirmed that a midfield transfer is in the works. Thiago Alcantara's injury on the rise, Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain and Naby Keita's fitness woes are now more than frustrating. With Jordan Henderson and James Milner on the wrong side of the 30, Liverpool are looking for a transfer in midfield that can be trusted blindly, despite Harvey Elliott's promising performance against Bournemouth. Let's just say Cruz fits this profile perfectly. While Cruz is in the final stages of his glittering career, the fact that he is still at the peak of his career makes the Real Madrid midfielder a suitable target for Liverpool. In addition to Cruz, the Reds have a few other midfielders on their radar, including Frenkie de Jong. In the continuation of our video, we will examine these names for you. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like our video if you like our video. If we continue after this reminder, I think everyone has understood what kind of profile Liverpool are looking for. Klopp leans towards names who are ageless and those who continue their careers under pressure in big teams. The reason is simple. The Premier League has started and there is no time left to wait for the newcomer to get used to the big team and adapt to the team. If we talk about these two names, they both work in big teams and the adaptation process will not take long from the moment they join the team. There is no doubt that whichever comes, they will be able to pull the strings and play the team in the middle of the park at Anfield. It is certain that Liverpool will have an exciting time as they come to the end of the transfer window. Do you think Frankie de Jong or Tony Cross would be a better fit for Klopp's team? Jurgen Klopp has found his new Mane. Replacing a player like Sadio Mane would never be easy, but Liverpool had already thought of that. In this part of our video, we will talk about a person who has done very important work for the team yesterday, and then we will share with you another midfielder that Liverpool is interested in. So let's start. Liverpool suffered a huge loss from the offensive line this summer and that loss was mostly felt in the first weeks of the league. While entering the last year of his contract, the departure of Sadio Mane, who accepted the offer of Bayern Munich, undoubtedly brought up the questions of how that region would be compensated. But the Reds already seem to be in good hands. Because Luis Diaz, who is planned to replace him, is doing extraordinary work. Since joining the club, Luis Diaz has started playing as if he's been at Liverpool for a long time and showed himself to Klopp. His four goals in 13 Premier League games last season were enough to build on the Colombian winger's play, which bore fruit. The Colombian star made an excellent start this season, scoring three goals in four league matches. Diaz was arguably Liverpool's best player from the opening games. He saved the draw with a fantastic goal against Crystal Palace after Darwin Nunez was sacked, while yesterday's game was unlocked as the Reds scored the first of nine goals against Bournemouth this afternoon. Thanks to Liverpool's recruiting team for finding Diaz, who was able to make an instant impact and at the same time embrace life in Merseyside. Diaz dispelled the myths about whether the stats could be translated across leagues, with many somewhat belittling the 14 goals he scored in 18 games in Portugal's best flight. It's clear why Klopp is willing to make a move for him. 
His promising striker direction and technical quality set him apart from the typical South American winger. Diaz is Liverpool's top scorer in the Premier League after their first four games, but his transformation from a tough winger who forced Real Madrid to double down in the Champions League final to a proven top scorer is most impressive. For many players, finding the deadly touch inside the box is the last ingredient needed to thrive. While he didn't find himself matching Salah and Mane's 22 league goals in the 2018-2019 season, it's clear that he's making progress in this area of his game. Of course Mane is a loss for Liverpool, but the Reds had already planned this and they took Diaz before Mane left. With the return of Diogo Jota, the rivalry escalates, but it's unlikely that Diaz will give the kit. How do you evaluate Luis Diaz's performance this season? Liverpool have found their new Ginny Wijnaldum. We have just mentioned that we will share with you the other midfielder Liverpool are interested in. Of course, Liverpool are not interested in a single name and there are alternatives to names that interest them. If Liverpool wanted to sign a former player right now, it would definitely be Ginny Wijnaldum. Right now the team needs exactly what he can do. So let me ask you a theoretical question. Would the Reds midfielder have been better equipped for 2022-2023 if they still had Ginny Wijnaldum? Not that Wijnaldum will return to Anfield, of course. He is currently on loan from Paris Saint-Germain to Rome. But if you think the former owner of Liverpool's number no. 5 jersey can answer many questions about their midfield, perhaps signing one of the three midfielders from Europe's big five leagues with whom he is most statistically similar might offer the solution. According to statistical data, this name is Carla Sola. As for many players, he has been linked to Liverpool in the past and is once again on the Reds' agenda as the current transfer window draws to a close. We mentioned recently that the target of Paris Saint-Germain is Fabrian Ruiz from Napoli, but they are considering Carla Sola as an alternative. Some sources even stated that PSG's interest could cause some big problems for the Merseyside giants. The 25-year-old Sola is one of the players who can fill the big gap in Liverpool midfield right now. His goals in the Champions League against Chelsea and Manchester United brought him to the fore. So would it be a logical transfer? Let's look for the answer together. Statistics show that most of his strengths are enough for Liverpool. For example, Sola's assists expectation numbers are satisfactory with half of them since the summer of 2019 while the team was on set offence. He's very skilled at removing the swinging corners favoured by the Reds, but Trent Alexander-Arnold and Andy Robertson already fulfilled that requirement. In addition, Sola managed to score double-digit goals in the matches he played in the league in the last two seasons. However, the point to be noted here is that 11 of these goals were scored from penalties. Even the remaining four goals would add a different atmosphere to Liverpool midfield these days. The Valencia star is worth £45 million and is the 13th most valuable central midfielder in the world, according to Transfermarkt data. Sola's entering the final year of his contract makes him more achievable than most Liverpool's goals. Transfer analysts at Liverpool consider Sola to have similar skills to Wijnaldum, and it's intriguing to see what action Liverpool will take in the short term.